Hello everybody and welcome back to Match Day with Max here at the City Grounds for the last home game of 2018 against Steve McLaren's Queen's Park Rangers and I'd like to wish all my viewers and subscribers and everybody else who has taken part in the videos this year a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you very much for your support this year. Let's hope we can get three points today to put under the Christmas tree. Come on you Reds. I'm joined by BBC Radio Nottingham's Robin Chipperfield before the game. Robin, time to pull a cracker. OK, let's have a go. And there we go, there's the question. OK. I hope it's not too tricky. <laughs> oh, no. Laws, Hodge or Sutton? Oh, that's a tough, that is a tough one. Um, Laws, because he makes me laugh. Hodgey, because he makes me laugh. But Sutton makes me laugh as well. Um, Just go for all three. All three, I think. I like them all. They're all different, and I like them all because they're all different. Um, Hodgie knows every player in every country from under 6 level up to under 35 level. Um, Sutz is good fun, uh, Laws is great fun on a car journey. Oh, I like them all, I can't decide. I'm joined by Graham Abercrombie, Nottingham Forest ladies manager before the game. Graham, time to pull a cracker. So the question is, what have been the main highlights for Nottingham Forest ladies in 2018? Good question. Um, there's been there's been a lot to be honest, and without doubt, the overriding one was playing on the on the on the turf, mm. the hallowed turf, in front of 4,000 people against Jamaica. I think that was a special day, a special moment, and certainly um, showcased what we were capable of as well against the top team. So yeah, that's been the highlight for me amongst many many others. Uh, I'd just like to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all the Match Day with Max subscribers and viewers. Uh, click, share and uh, whatever else you need to do, uh, Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to all the Forest Ladies, associated people as well. <laughs> Question is... Out of all the Football League mascots, who gets the most attention from the ladies? Liam, pull the cracker. Um, what positions do we need to strengthen in January? Um, I think we need to strengthen our centre-backs a bit to make our team a lot better. I'm joined by BBC Radio Nottingham's Colin Frey before the game. Colin, time to pull the cracker. Oh, you win. <laughs> there's, your, there's the question. Right, if you had magic powers and could make one shot or goal that missed this year go in, which one would you choose? Okay, well I'm going to have two answers at this, because I'm going to go with, uh, in that respect, any goal, any shot that Forrest had at Villa that didn't go in, which would have made it 6-5. Yeah. Um, but most of all, I'd like to turn it round and have magic powers to make a goal that went in, not go in, and that'll be Kemar Roof's handball at Leeds, thank you very much, and we'll have all three points and take two points off Leeds and add two points to us and be a lot closer to them in the table, and Merry Christmas. Um, see, mine would be, for making it go in, would be the Adeline Guedieras against West Brom, where he, 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 the commander from about, it was from, I don't know, literally from the halfway line, just yeah. under, and he literally did a long-range shot, nearly caught the keeper off his line, it just went over the top of the bar, I think that would have been mine, but yeah, thanks very much. It's alright, Merry Christmas. I'm here with Justin before the game. Justin, where have you come from for today's game? Well, I flew in from Dublin, Max, but I'm, I'm from Kildare, so it'd be dangerous to call me as being from Dublin. <laughs> Only the people at home will get that one. But anyway. Um, time to pull a card. Okay. And I'll oh, take yeah. it. <laughs> I tell you what, you've set this one up for me, haven't you? Who's the best Irishman ever, ever to play for Forest? Uh, Andy Reid. Yeah. Andy Reid. And before that, Martin O'Neill. But yeah. Martin O'Neill is obviously in all of our bad books yeah. now after his <laughs> disastrous manager, managerial stint with, the, with, the, with, with the national team. Yeah, but I can, I can remember seeing uh, Andy Reid here. He was one of the first players I saw when I started watching Forrest. Mm -hmm. He was just great, absolutely fa fantastic oh, magician. players as well. Magician. Yes. Mm. Anyway, thanks for your time, Justin, and Merry Christmas. And you too, Max. I'm here with Sean from Bandy and Shinty. Sean, time to pull a cracker. So the question is, where do we need to strengthen this January? Um, some people probably think the goalkeeper I like, Pantelimon. Uh, he may need some competition, but I wouldn't change him. Possibly another striker if Van Sarifar doesn't get much more time on the pitch, I don't know. Uh, apart from that, I think we're doing alright, to be honest. We do need to strengthen a little bit at left-back. 
get someone else in for a bit more competition for Robinson. But apart from that, I'm happy as we are, to be honest. Merry Christmas, Sean, and come on you Reds. Come on you Reds. I'm joined by Emily Anderson from East Midlands today. Emily, time to pour a cracker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there's the question. Let's look then, what does it say? So, what has been your favourite East Midlands sports story or event in 2018? Well, we're at the Forest Ground, so it's got to be forest related, hasn't it? Uh, it has to be signing Lewis Grabbin in the summer, I'd yeah. say. And finally, having a consistent forest yeah. side that's not leaking goals all over the shop. And um, we should be going somewhere this season, hopefully, as well. Hopefully, I'm thinking playoffs. What about you? Promotion, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs>